Sniper Shields, World War I Sniper shields were one of the technical innovations that appeared on the battlefield of the First World War. There are many variants of sniper shields, ranging from lightweight to heavy versions, and were inspired by the mantlets from centuries before. The first sniper shields, or set shields, were introduced by the British, who used them on an enormous scale. Reports say that in 1917, over 200,000 were deployed on the Western Front. They had a typical design with a loophole for the rifle, which could be protected by a shutter. These shields were capable of protecting against German rounds at a distance of 50 yards, but could be penetrated by reversed bullets. The Germans also designed and used sniper shields. At first, they used large magnesium steel plates that were being placed on trench parapets. Later, they introduced the Model 1916 Infanterie Shield, a 24-inch wide, 18-inch tall sniper shield weighing 30 pounds. The silicon nickel steel plate was 0.23 inches thick and was able to protect from British 303 rounds at a distance of 100 yards. The plate had a loophole designed for a right-hand sniper and a movable shutter. Some models even had a double loophole for binoculars at the center of the plate. The shield plate was slightly bent along its edges to protect against shrapnel and ricochets. Even though it was designed for mobile use, the Model 1916 sniper shield was too heavy to carry around, especially while crawling. Furthermore, it's designed only to protect the shooter from the front side. The Germans therefore inserted the shields into trench parapets, covering them with sandbags and hiding them with camouflage. Protected with these shields, placed at intervals of 100 yards in disposition to protect each other's flanks, German snipers became a difficult obstacle for British soldiers. Since the Model 1916 sniper shields were not able to protect the shooter from armor-piercing shells and heavy-caliber hunting rifles that the British introduced onto the battlefield, the Germans designed a stronger model, referred to as the Model 1916-1917, with a steel plate thickness of 0.42 inches. The shield was wider at 26 inches wide and was 12 inches tall and had a mouse hole aperture at the bottom of the plate. This model also had side plates that were used as the stand and the protection for the sniper from ricochets and lead splash. However, this sniper shield weighed 50 pounds and was very difficult to handle. Besides the German and British designs, sniper shields were being used by other armies as well. The common thing for all of them was that they were too heavy and cumbersome for mobile use for which they were initially designed. Watch our other videos to learn more. Get your copy of Simple History, World War I, available on Amazon now. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.